Hello everyone, my name is Ming. Today in this video, I'm going to show you in Capture One how you can use this skin tone tool for your portrait photos and landscape photos as well. Before we get started, uh, you can save 10% on Capture One by using coupon code AMBCAI. So just click on this enter promotional code button and then enter AMBCAI and then you can get 10% off. This coupon code also works for bundle deal, which is already 30% off. So you can get 40% off in total. I will put information and the links in the description below. So make sure you check that out. Now let's jump back to Capture One. Now first, let's take a look at uh, a portrait photo. And the skin tone tool is in color editor tool, which by default is under this color tool tab. And uh, you can use this picker to pick a color. Uh, but let's first uh, create a layer and let me draw a layer mask. So I want to select this area and uh, uh, because this area contains some highlight and a shadow. So you can press M to show the mask. And I'm going to draw the mask, which includes highlight and shadow area. All right, just like that. And now I can use this picker tool to pick a color. And I want to pick a uh, a mid-tone color, not in the not from the highlight area and not from the shadow area. Pick a mid-tone color right there. And the first set uh, hue saturation like this. This allows you to change your mask. It's going to change this area. So for example, I can turn the hue and you can see the hue is affected a little bit. Or I can change saturation. As you can see, this area is more saturated or take out saturation from this area. Also, you can uh, increase lightness or decrease lightness. So make this area darker. And this smoothness tool basically is like a uh, feather, you know. So smoothness set to zero, as you can see from this range. If I increase it, as you can see, it's uh, it has more feather uh, if you increase the smoothness. Now let's take a look at uniformity because I think this tool is really powerful. And basically you have used the picker tool, picked a color. And now when you change this hue saturation line is here, it's going to make all this area to make this area close to the color that you pick. For example, you have some highlight here. So if you increase lightness, it's going to pull down this highlight and make it as close as to uh, make it close to the color you pick. And also when you increase the lightness, it's going to bump up the shadow from here and make it close to the color you pick. Now let's take a look. If I increase the shadow, uh, sorry, if I increase the lightness, which means in terms of lightness, I want I want this area to get close to the color I pick. So pay attention to this highlight area and the shadow area. Okay, so this is before and this is after. This is before, this is after. As you can see, the highlight uh, portion is more uh, is smoother and the, the shadow portion is smoother as well. Basically, both highlight and the shadow uh, gets closer to the color I picked. Same thing for saturation. If I increase saturation, basically means I want to make the saturation of all this area to be close to the color I picked. And also I can change the hue, right? So you can uh, create a very smooth look by using this uniformity tool. Uh, most of the time I don't use hue that much and I don't use the saturation that much. I use uh, lightness mostly. So this is before, 
this is after. All right, now let's create another layer and I'm going to draw the other side. I'm going to draw around this uh, shadow area from here. And also include some of the uh, bright parts right here. Okay, now I'm going to pick a color. Again, pick a mid-tone color. Pick, a, pick something in the middle. Let's say, let's do that. And uh, we can add a saturation if you want. You can remove saturation if you want or change the lightness. But that's not what I want to do. I want to make this area more smooth. So I can increase the smoothness of lightness. So as you can see, it bump up the shadow and make this area uh, close to the color I picked and also bring down the highlight. I can add a little bit of saturation and a little bit of hue, like that. So this is before the shadow was darker and now the shadow was lifted. This is after. All right, now this tool is called Skin Tone, but then I think this tool is great for your landscape photos as well. Now, let me show you an example. Now let's take a look at this photo. For this photo, I add uh, a little bit of vignette to this photo. And as you can see right now, the corners are pretty dark and the middle area is a little bit brighter than the corners and that doesn't look good. So I want to even that out. So I can create a, a new layer and then I'm gonna go and grab a gradient mask. I'm gonna draw a gradient mask and also press M so you can see what you selected and now I can go back to the color editor tool and the color editor goes to skin tone use this color picker and I'm gonna pick a the color that I want the the rest of the area to match so I'm gonna pick right here and now I have all these areas selected so I want the rest of this area to match the color, to match the lightning saturation hue of this color I picked. So I'm gonna just increase the lightness. All right, and let's do a before after. This is before. As you can see, the corners are darker, and this is after. It just lifts the, the shadow around the corners. Maybe it's a little bit too strong and then we can always change the opacity maybe to 70%. Again, this is before and this is after. So now the clouds becomes more smooth, the color, the lightness becomes more smooth. And also you can, if you want, you can uh, change saturation as well. And change the hue. Basically make the rest of the area match the hue, saturation, and the lightness of the color you just picked. So I think this this tool is pretty cool and it can use for your portrait photos as well as your landscape photos. All right guys, that's it from me today. If you want to see more Capture One tutorials, you can click here. And if you want to see my most recent video, you can click here. And if you are not subscribed already, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and you can click here. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.